know who is your god first it's a shame for a children if they do not know who is their father do not know what the father likes do not know what is the father's name what is father, father's uh, father's favorite things it's a shame likewise as a christian if we do not know about our god it's a shame for us we need to know who is our god what is his nature you see in the book of matthew 8:27 so the man marveled uh huh saying who can this so be? the man marveled saying who can this be who can this be that even the winds that even the winds and the sea obey him and the sea obey him hallelujah these disciples they were traveling with jesus they were with jesus but they don't truly know jesus you know it's something like they have the knowledge about jesus but it does not touch their soul it's like that hallelujah who is this that even the wind in the storm is submitting to him who is he they so marveled if they already know who is jesus they won't be marveled isn't it is nothing to be surprised at all because they already know this is what jesus can do all the time but when that incident happened they were so surprised they could not accept oh my god who is this person means they do not know jesus when they encountered the wave and the wind hallelujah when they faced that storm in the in the the wave in the in the sea if they know who is jesus they would not be fearful they are fearful because they do not know who is jesus hallelujah hallelujah likewise in our life we need to know our jesus we need to put on a fort to learn about jesus today we are going through a lot of uh, uh, online ca- classes online things this and that we're trying to uh, take a course to learn about uh, a business a field a lot of things we are doing out there but none of us put in a fort to learn about jesus we need to learn about jesus hallelujah he has given us the word the word is his diary no none of us will give our diary to people because we know how what all, what all we have written inside that is a top secret hallelujah but jesus is holy there is no evil in him therefore the bible the diary is open to everybody hallelujah when you are reading the word of god you are literally reading the diary of god is truly about jesus from the book of a uh, uh, genesis to uh, malachi it's about the father jehovah the father hallelujah from the book of a uh, uh, matthew to john is about the son and from the book of acts you know to revelation is an act of the holy spirit and the revelation clearly speaks about the father the son and the holy spirit hallelujah it's divided to three there's no confusion at all though it is two books old testament new testament but if you see clearly there are three is written about the father the son and the holy spirit when you read about the father you know jesus was there the holy spirit was there when jesus spoke to moses in the in the form of angel it was jesus it was jesus who wrestled with jacob but the main person was the father hallelujah when in the book of uh, uh, matthew to john okay matthew to john we can see the father was there saying that this is my beloved son and jesus was there and the holy spirit came in the form of dove he was there hallelujah and from the book of acts to revelation we can see the same three person was there hallelujah the father the son and the holy spirit were stephen was saying that i see god and the right hand was jesus and the glory of god they were there so the whole bible clearly speaks about them which is one person god in trinity hallelujah it is already there so when we begin to learn it is too interesting i'm telling you you don't have to go for a class sit just read the word of god in the holy spirit that's enough it's very interesting when you read one by one the word one not by sentence one by one the word when you read he will begin to expose himself to you you will begin to explore explore the land of canaan 
in the Bible. The heaven, you can know what is heaven look like in the Bible itself. Bible is the map to heaven. It is the diary of God. It is the love letter of God. It is the invitation by God. Hallelujah. What all we can say, it is the word of God. Anyone who reads the word can never say that he doesn't know who is Jesus. You will know Jesus. When you read someone's Baidata or their CV, the resume, what you, you print out for your work, your, your boss or your future boss may know who are you, what is your nature, what is your background, isn't it? Everything in detail is here about Jesus. You know? Everything is here. Not only to know who he is, his nature. You know, his nature, how emotional he is, how loving he is. Everything is in the word of God. I wouldn't be loving God this much without reading this word. This word of God is what made me to love God so much. Because when I read the word, I'll begin to question, Lord, if you can do this for Abraham, you can do it for me also. Lord, if you can do this for Isaac or Jacob, you can do it for me also. Because I'm not different from them. They are Abraham in that their age. I'm Jonathan in this age. Hallelujah. We are always the same humans. God, if you're, if you're so favorable upon Israel, of course, Malaysians, we are also your children. Don't forget us. When I pray, sometimes when I kneel down in a praying time, the Bible will be beside me all the time on my table. I'll be kneeling down. Suddenly the Holy Spirit will prompt me to open the scripture and ask God to use this and pray. So beautifully the Lord, the Spirit of God will lead us to pray. Hallelujah. He said, okay, ask God, say that, Lord, you can bless Abraham like this, you can perform Abraham, a miracle for Abraham like this, then you can do this for me also. That's how I pray all the time. It's truly very unique, the way the Lord makes us to pray using the word. You know, it is the Holy Spirit that can make you to pray according to the will of God, desire of God. So, he will teach you, pray like this, ask God like this. Show this verse, read this verse to him, remind him. He knows, but you remind him. So when you pray using the scripture, God the, God the Father from heaven will begin to hear this. And when you complete the prayer, you say, in the name of your son, Jesus, I ask this. See, it comes back a circle. A circle. Hallelujah. And when God sees you, he does not see you. He sees the son in you. Jesus in you. And your prayers are being answered not because of you, because Jesus is in you. When the Father sees the face of the Son, He has done everything at the cross. Nothing is lacking. And because of Him, all our prayers are being answered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you read the word of God, it increases your faith. It shows you who is Jesus. It's not that some people when they pray, they are too into perfection, you know. Oh, I have stopped already, I must stand back again. No, 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 no. Let the Spirit of God lead you control fully. He will show you time to time, okay, take this scripture, take that verse. Look here, it's around there. Of course, I can't remember all the Bible verses, but I know where it is located. I will just go there, and, okay, this is the verse. Okay, Lord, see, I sit here, okay. That's how I pray. Hallelujah. It is more powerful to pray using the word of God. Hallelujah. Because God speaks to us through his word and we speak back to him through his word. Hallelujah. So it, it, this will be a very good uh, a mobile, a cellular for us, a telephone for us, a phone for us, a handphone for us. We need to use the same handphone to hear and talk, isn't it? The same way, use the word of God. And when you begin to read and read and read and read, you know, You'll begin to know who is Jesus, what is his nature. And when people ask you concerning Jesus, you have all the answers. I know about my father. I know what he likes. I know what is his nature. I know what, he, what, what will be pleasing to him. That's how you will talk. You will not go back to the word and scratch because you already read that word. The word is already living within you right now. Hallelujah. The word of God is so much important for you to know who is Jesus. Read as much as you can, not to complete the word of God, but to understand the nature of God. To know who is Jesus. That is why we need to read the word of God. You know, 
instead of seeking for a prophet seeking for a, a pastor seeking for a servant of god on the word of god i'm telling you the best place is to seek the word of god over here even in this morning when i'm a bit down in my spirit i was praying i said lord speak to me something speak to me something i was keep on praying praying and the spirit of the limit was particular scripture he spoke to me hallelujah somehow he will talk to the word of god i'm telling you this is the best place to hear the word of god hallelujah hallelujah anyone who knows their god they will be like a lion not like a cat but like a lion there's no fear in them hallelujah